Hey, are you the one who attacked our dog? No, I don't believe you. Time for you to go. Caution! This is not meant to be an instructional video. We are not professionals. We are just homeowners attempting to trap porcupines on our property. We are not responsible for anyone attempting trapping on their own. We are fun! Ah, the porcupine. They're so cute. And dangerous with roughly 30,000 quills all over their bodies. And a couple of old wives' tales about porcupines? Yeah, porcupines shoot their quills at you. Not true. You have to rub up against them or get slapped by the tail, and they're not easy to remove, so have your pliers ready. And because the quills are filled with air, some believe that cutting them to let the air out makes it easier to remove. Not true. This just gives you less room to lock the pliers on and allows the quills to move further into the body. Yeah, and the last one we're going to cover, they only come out at night. Not true. Poor Miss Brandy found this out the hard way. We're assuming that she went to check out Pete the porcupine and rubbed her muzzle up against him, and then Pete smacked her in the chest with his tail. We got the ones in the muzzle out with pliers. The chest required an emergency vet visit at a cost of $1,000. Mm. We knew we had porcupines. It ended up being five of them. So they had to be moved. This is how we did it. We use traps to catch them. We have a have a hot trap here and an advanced tech trap. They're identical. They, they do the exact same thing. They operate the same way. And speaking of how they operate, there's a lever on the top here that is holding back the spring. That's what prevents them from being able to get back out. To set the trap, you pull this up, push back the spring, pull the door up, and see this little line right here? Piece of metal? That's going to hook underneath this hook just like that. Then what you do is you set the trap. You put a couple pieces of food here to get them in and then you have the rest of it down behind this plate. Because then when Pete the Porcupine's walking along and he steps on this plate, bang, you just caught yourself whatever you're trying to catch. Now once you trapped your wild animal, at some point you're going to have to release him. And that's where our problem was because the only way to release an animal in this trap the way it's designed right now is through the same door that trapped it to begin with. So as you're playing around out here with the spring, trying to open up the door, this animal, who shouldn't have been in here any more than 24 hours is what's recommended, can see that there's an opening. If he makes a beeline for it, where well, you're still trying to open the door, there could be a confrontation with the animal. And depending what the animal is, like the porcupines, <laughs> you really don't want a confrontation with them. So Cheryl checked out the traps and thought she'd, well, come up with a way to build a better mouse trap, which she did. If you look across here, you see those clamps? That's what holds this piece to the cage. It went up the sides and across the back. So Cheryl thought, well, if I could remove them from the side and the top, then this is going to become a door, which she did. But once those were gone, they just needed to have a way to hold it and release it where it wasn't going to interfere with, you know, an animal attacking us. She went out on a line and she found these spring clamps. So now when we get to where we are, dropping the little fella off instead of being in front of the cage playing with the door I can straddle it highly recommended that you wear gloves not gonna tell you that you know well, okay yo we got hit with quills and had to pull them out with pliers but anyway so being able to hang over it this way do the sides first I can keep an eye on the animal what it's doing so if I'm doing something I can pull my hands away real quick so pull off the side first Then, pull off the tops, and then I just hold it here while I step back, and boom, they go running out. So, honey, what are you doing? I am preparing the bait for the porcupine trap. And what do they like? They like apples and lots of salt. Mm -hmm. They're sweet and salty. <laughs> so, let's get it made. I'm going to cut up the apple, put it in the bag, and then just pour the salt in. Because the apple is somewhat, somewhat moist, the salt sticks to it. Yep, so let's go set the trap. There. A couple in the front, and then a bunch in the back. Success. <laughs> so we caught him. I was surprised. It's been eluding us for about two months. Yep. Look how long that tail is, if you can see it. Oh, he's getting puffy. His face is up there. He's keeping his face away from us. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to cover the cage just to help him stay a little bit calmer. So we just made this. I mean, you can pick these up, you know, Bud Light. <laughs> just, just go out to Budweiser.com, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we just made these just to give him a little bit of privacy. Holy moly, you're a heavy one. <laughs> so we're going to put him in the back of the pickup truck. The other beauty about this is it also protects my leg. If he comes out with his quills, <laughs> they will go right through jeans and everything, though. So yeah. you want to keep him away from your body as you're carrying off to the state park. All right, we know that they're gonna lose quills on the way on the ride, so we're lining the truck with the tarp because, well, normally I have to clean all the quills out when we get home and have been stuck. Cheryl's been stuck. We've actually had to use pliers to pull quills out of each other. These things are nasty, so be very, very careful. Do all you can to avoid them touching you. Somebody is eager to go. All right, so we're gonna start with the side ones, but because of the modification we made, we don't have to worry about it. But look, right here, there's a quill coming right up. All right, one, two. He should take right off. Bye-bye. There he goes. Oh, oh, he's in a rush. He must have a date here, hon. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Bye, Pauline. It's a big tree. Mm. You should really back off from that little help. Jeez. Really need it. Okay. Go, 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 go. Come on, Paul. Pete, whoever you are. Oops, going right, right up this, this tree. tree. I had a good view of him right here. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, go up that one. That's where Pauline went. <laughs> See all those quills? All right, Pat, you're about ready. Go. Hey. Better not come around and get me. <laughs> All right, everyone, there you go. We gave you information about porcupines and showed you how we trap and release them. And speaking of releasing, don't forget to contact your fish and game to find out what your state mandates for trapping and releasing animals. Yeah. Also, a lot of the footage that we showed you in this video came from trail cams that we have throughout our yard. We put them up because we were curious what we had out there. We got lots of animals. We got lots of animals. But if you're interested in putting trail cams out in your yard just to see what creeps around your house at night, we'll have a link in the description box down below to the trail cams, to the two traps that we used, and the spring clips. We will also have a link to our Amazon store. Yeah, it's stuff that we used when we were RVing and stuff that we used around the house. It's all stuff that we can vouch for because we actually bought it and actually use it. Mm -hmm. Just want to give a quick update on my health. I did have the operation and then I had three months of setbacks. But I am on men's right now. Cheryl and I are going out hiking so we can get back with the team again. I am up to five miles. So just all the snow that's been falling isn't helping at all. <laughs> yeah, we need it to go away. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to end the video here. So if you like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. Want to follow along with everything we do here on the We Are Mud Fun channel? Right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. And once you do that, don't forget to ring the bell. You'll be notified every time we put a video out. If you have any questions, comments, you can put them right down below. Or you can just say hi. Because we'll say hi back. We always do. Till our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We are Mud Fun. Bye. Bye.
Wow, I think we got it. Wasn't the first clip, but it wasn't bad. It was a little bit of... Oh, do you need to redo it? No.